Hello, hello, hello. So this is your Body, Mind, Spirit Oracle card pull for the next week. So whenever you're watching this, it's seven days after this. So this is like something that you need to be focused on, something that um, you can uh, look forward to, something that just you need to be aware of for the next seven days body, mind, spirit. So let's start with body. What do we need to be focused on when it comes to our bodies for the next week? Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and si simultaneously nurture you. So with this card, what this is saying for your body, that right now for the next seven days this week, it's very important that you allow yourself to be supported from others. You have done a ton of support for other people. You now need to allow that support to come back to you in this time for the next seven days. Whatever that looks like. Maybe you have someone come clean your house. Maybe you need someone to go with you to an appointment. Maybe you just need someone there to listen to you. Don't be afraid to reach out. Your body wants you to have others support you right now for the next seven days. This will take some pressure off of you. This will ease up any body symptoms that you may be experiencing right now. Your physical body needs you to kind of just let others help you right now. It's okay. It's okay to reach out for help. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to accept help. At least for the next seven days, it's important that you do that. And if you're not used to doing that, believe me, I was one of those people at one time. If you're not used to asking for help or accepting help from others, this is a good time in the next seven days to practice that and get used to that and just do it maybe in small increments, you know, maybe just have one person help you. Just reach out to one person, whatever it may be, however it looks to you, it's important that you allow others to help you because just as much as you like to help others, other people want to help you too, and that's the way they show their love for you. So let them love you for the next seven days. All right. So body, mind, we're going into our mind, our mental health. Let's see our emotional well-being. Let's see what we need for that. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling you to step into your full power rather than playing small. How often do we do that, right? We play small because we think that we need to, or we're afraid to rock the boat or anything like this, your mental health for the next seven days wants you to play big, to own your power, to express your power. And again, if you're not used to doing that, it may feel a little bit strange. And there may even be some guilt that come along with that. That's all normal. But trust me, over time of owning your power, expressing your power, you will learn that playing small isn't the right space for you because you're meant to go big. You're meant to be big. You're meant to have power. And when you show your power, you allow others to show their power. It's like, it's just the, it just keeps flowing. So this is calling you for the next seven days to let yourself be in your full power. Don't play small for the next seven days. It's time to express yourself and be big. And it's okay to do that. Now, with that said, after seven days, I bet you, if you can do this for seven days, even if it's just in small little ways right now, that'll build up and give you the confidence that you need to continue on. And that's where we all need to be, right? At all times in our power, owning our power, being big because we deserve that. And the world needs us to show up for ourselves in that way. <clears throat> all right. Spirit. What does spirit have to say for us? Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal or replenish you. When's the last time that you actually just went silent? Doesn't it feel weird, right? <clears throat> um, 
I like to do, if you're not used to going silent, if you're not used to being in silence, I highly recommend you work up your time in silence because your human brain will be like, what is going on? What are you doing to us? We need activity. We need noise. We need this. We need that. If you work up to it though, it becomes easier and your brain goes, oh, thank you. Silence. I love it. And your body, your mind, your spirit, it all goes together and just like, oh, thank you. I love being silent. There are days that I spend all day in silence and it's beautiful. So beautiful. And there are days that I like sound around me. That's fine too. It all serves a purpose. Having sound, having silence. Sound, silence. They both serve a purpose in your life and they both can be healing and they can both do great things. So it's important for the next seven days, though, for your spirit is crying out, wants you to be in silence and just be and allow yourself to go silent and allow the environment around you to be silent. So if you're a person that normally has on the radio all the time or the TV all the time, shut it off, shut it off for a little bit. Um, and if you're not used to that and you, you don't want your brain going, oh my God, what's going on? Um, do it for like five minutes and then turn it back on. And then the next time you do it, do it for a little longer. It's okay. You can work your way up to silence. Um, go for a walk outside in silence. Uh, take a vow of science. I s silence. I do that all the time. I basically just pre-warn my family and friends and my husband say today for the next 24 hours, I'm going to be silent, which means I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to do anything when it comes to using my voice because that's when I go within. That's where I really spend some time with Crystal. And so you can practice that, going completely silent. Um, and uh, if that's too much, maybe just go silent when someone's talking to you. Because a lot of times we over talk people. I do all the time. I'm guilty. Um, and we're not really listening. So practice the art of consciously listening by being silent when someone is talking to you. So the next time someone talks to you, even if your brain's still thinking thoughts and going a mile a minute, with your voice, though, don't say anything. Just go silent and listen. You're going to hear things a little bit differently. You're going to hear more than you would have heard before. And then over time, that becomes easier. And then you become a conscious listener. And then it is rewarding to you and the people that you're talking to. But whatever it looks like to you, your silent practice this next week, do it. Spend some time in silence. And yes, your human brain may go haywire for a minute. And yes, it may be like, I don't know, I can do this. I can't be silent. I can't be in a room that has nothing going on. You can. Absolutely, you can. Um, just try it. Just try it. And try it. Baby steps are better than no steps. So try five minutes of silence every single day for the next seven days and see how you do. And then I recommend keep building on that and add more minutes to silence. And silence, like I said, your silent activity can look in different ways. It could be just silent, active listening. It can be silent that you don't speak at all. It can be silence where there's no uh, music or anything going around. Um, it can Silence can look different for you and it can be different every day. But in order for us to hear our own intuition and to hear our own inner voice, to hear our spirit guides, we have to go silent sometimes. We have to shut everything off and just be. So let's, let's do that real quick. Let this be your, your one minute silent activity to begin with. Okay. So That 
was your one minute of silence. How did that make you feel? Did it make you feel uncomfortable? Did it make you feel good? Did it make you feel relaxed? I can tell you that my brain, because I talk all the time, is like, huh, finally, she stopped talking. We could take a break. So how does that make you feel? And sometimes when you're not used to it in the beginning, it could feel uncomfortable. That's okay. You can move through that uncomfortability. That's what you want to do. You don't want to like uh, feed it with, uh, with music or anything else in this minute when you're being silent and practicing silence. You want to do your best to uh, be within that silence without feeding the need to listen to something. So just like I said, start small. Start at one minute and work your way up. But I believe that you can do it. I know you can. And your spirit is going to love you for it. And if you've ever had a hard time or challenging time listening to your spirit guides, your intuition or anything like that, this, this activity of surrendering into silence and just being still and silent within yourself is going to help open the doorways to actually hear those messages better. Trust me, I've been doing this for just a minute. So I've been doing this for quite a long time. And I know that silence is one of my biggest tools that I use and I absolutely love. So that's your body, mind, spirit, uh, oracle pull theme inspiration for this next week, the next seven days. So I hope it finds you well and have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.